One of the most interesting stories in physics is the story of Archimedes, wherein he was uh, the main scientist during the Roman times. And uh, the king that time asked him to determine whether the gold is pure or not pure. So he determined the density. Because, you know, as we know, gold is one of the, is the densest material. And then one method to determine the volume is by displacement method. And this is what, what he did. Let me share my screen. So what he did is he was uh, swimming, or not swimming, taking a bath on a, uh, on a container. <laughs> I don't know what they call it that time during the Roman times. So this is similar to what he did. When he submerged himself completely, the water level increases, of course, because this, his body or this object occupies some space, okay? And he determined, he discovered that the volume of the object dis, uh, displaces a water volume. So look, from 100 liter, it becomes 100, 105 liter. And he discovered that the volume of the displaced fluid is equal to the volume of the object. So this is useful if the object is an irregular shape. If it's regular, like cubic object, it's easy to determine the volume. Side times side times side, length times width times, thick, times, times thickness, it's easy. But if your volume is like irregular volume like this, so it, it's not like cylinder, it has some different shape. If you submerge this, on a water, the water level will increase by a certain volume. And that volume is equal to the volume of the, the water. But here comes the interesting part. Notice this increase on water level. He took the weight of that water level. Some objects doesn't seem to submerge. Look, this object did not submerge. That object is floating. And when something is floating, it has a weight, there must be something that supports the weight of that object. If you're swimming, if you're floating in the, in the ocean or swimming pool, you're just floating, there must be something that lifts you up, that supports your weight. And he called that force the buoyant force. Okay? The buoyant force, according to his discovery, is equal to the weight of the displaced water, of the displaced fluid. So now let me let me uh, put it in an in an equation. Again, the dis the weight of the displaced fluid. Look at the increased fluid. Oops. In this case, the 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 displaced fluid is two liter. If you're going to get the weight of two liter water or fluid here, that's the buoyant force according to Archimedes. Okay. Let's express this, that now into equation. Okay, Archimedes' principle states that a fluid applies a buoyant force to an immersed object. This force, Fb, let's just call it Fb, buoyant force, is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. Again, the weight of the displaced fluid. So, so let's have a cylinder with a water in it. So this cylinder, let's say you, oops, you place an object, something like that. So let's say a, a sphere. So that object is a volume, okay? If you're going to put it there, the water level will increase, right? So let me draw it first, okay? So. So you have here now an increased uh, water level. So it has a volume, and the volume is equal to the volume of the object, which is submerged. In this case, our spherical volume. And that volume has a weight, okay? So that volume has a weight. Let's call it W, okay? And according to Archimedes, the, the weight of that volume, the displaced fluid, Fb, Equal to, that's your buoyant force, okay? B U O Y A N T, buoyant force, and of course that buoyant force is mass times g, but you know that 
uh, density is equal to m over volume so you can also express mass as density times volume so you can also have an equation for mass here density volume times the g so this is now your buoyant force okay so this is the archimedes principle so as you can see the buoyant force basically depends on the density of the fluid displaced so you can say that the buoyant force is dep depends on the density of the, the water or the fluid where you submerge any object okay so this is your oops density of your fluid not the object but the fluid and of course the, the the capital v here is the volume of again the fluid of the displaced fluid which is usually water you submerge something in the water okay so this is your archimedes principle so how do you know whether an object will float or will submerge okay let me show you some uh, example objects here so i have here a wood the density of the wood is 500 kilogram per cubic meter but the density of water is 1000 so if the density of the object is lower than the density of the fluid it will sub it, it will float let's use other uh, materials here oh i have a i don't know aluminum definitely the density of aluminum is higher than the density of water so it will sink okay so let's use another material styrofoam density of the styrofoam is low so it will float um brick definitely it's high and uh wood yeah we have the wood already ice oops ice is water it means but it, it floats right it means the density of ice is lower than the density of the liquid water so there's something going on with it okay so uh, see you in the next video i think we're going to discuss in the next video start uh, we're going to start with the study of fluids in motion so these concepts the past few videos are fluids at rest Archimedes, pascal's principle but for the next topic we're going to discuss fluids in motion